guys, here we are in Auckland Airport. Uh, it's about quarter to six in the morning right now, so still pretty damn tired. I only slept, I think, three, four hours because my sleep schedule's a mess. So we got to muck around here for about two hours. We're gonna go get some breakfast now. Uh, then we'll go through all security and stuff, and then hopefully we'll be on our flight over to Sydney for this uh, AMD event. Looking forward to catching up with Jared there, and it should be a fun time. For my flight over, I was flying Virgin Australia on one of their Boeing 737-800. So I was in economy. The seat itself was okay, but there's no entertainment system, so that was a little bit of a letdown to see there. So let's take off in this 737-800. So during the flight, I had a look at the menu and it was okay. My flight came with a meal, which was bacon and eggs. It tasted all right, although it was kind of like really microwaved. Like that was the taste it sort of had. Uh, the flight itself was all right. It was, took about four hours, which is a lot longer than it should have. Should have been three and a half because they said it had strong headwinds. There was a bit of turbulence too, but overall uh, it wasn't too bad. And the landing was quite a bit of fun. So we just got off the plane at Sydney. Now we gotta go find a taxi. Oh, we gotta go through security and stuff first. And then after that, uh, we can go on to this AMD conference, meet up with uh, Jared from Jared's Tech. So that'll be fun. Hey guys, so we arrived. I'm at the Riley Street Garage uh, restaurant. I'm gonna wait outside for a bit, see if uh, Jared rolls up sometime soon. But uh, we made it here in the end. Hopefully, we'll be able to go in soon and have this lunch conference. This week, the man himself, it's Jared's dick. Hey, hey. dude, <laughs> how's things? Just you have a fun it. time? Yeah. yeah, just made it. Oh, finally together. Here we are. <laughs> we made it for like two minutes. Yeah. So yeah. Close. <laughs> Yeah, we are close. Let's go in and check this out. Inside the event, which was actually really nice, uh, we found a 2950X. So AMD have basically done it a little bit differently this time. So you're going to have the 2920X, which is going to be a 12-core, 24-thread CPU, 3.5 gigahertz base clock, 4.3 gigahertz boost clock, coming in at 650 US dollars. 
and the 2950X, which will be a 12 core, 32 thread CPU, uh, 3.5 gigahertz base again, but a 4.4 gigahertz turbo clock, and that will be coming in at $900. Both of them will be 12 nanometer, which is good on their Zen Plus architecture. And what we're seeing here is basically an evolution from uh, Threadripper 1. And this is their X series CPU. So these are going to be for the creators who game, the people that are doing a bit of gaming, but also want to be doing the productivity stuff on top of that. Then we have the crazy CPUs. This is the WX series Threadrippers. So these are for your industry professionals, the people that just need all of the CPU horsepower that they can get. So you have the 2970WX, which is a 24 core, 48 thread CPU coming in with three gigahertz base clock and a 4.2 gigahertz turbo clock and a price of $1,300. And then the big boy itself, the 2990WX. So this is a 32 core, 64 thread behemoth coming in with the same clock speeds, 3 gigahertz on the base, 4.2 on the boost, and a $1,800 US price tag, which seems very high, which it is, but for what you're getting, that is quite a deal there. And of course, both of them are still on the 12 nanometer Zen Plus architecture, so that's also very good. And for those that are wondering, I did ask the AMD guys if you'll see any performance drop off if you use something like the 2990WX with uh, an X399 board that's a bit more on the budget side of things. And they have said that AMD have tested this extensively and that you will see no performance loss at all with using the 2990WX with even the more budget orientated X399 motherboards. After the event, I said goodbye to everyone and went over and played some pool with my brother who lives in Sydney now, so that was a bit of fun. But I only got to spend about an hour with him and then it was off to the airport. All right guys, so we're at the airport now, just about to take my Qantas flight back to Auckland in New Zealand. So that'll be fun, I'll take you guys along for the ride. Uh, I'll be leaving Sydney at 6.30 p.m. and because of the time difference I arrive in Portland at 11.30 p.m. local time so it's going to be a bit of a late night. Uh, so let's get on with this flight and see how it goes. My flight back was on a Qantas A330-200 Airbus and my seat by comparison to Virgin Australia was much better. Uh, I felt a lot less cramped and it was quite a bit more comfortable. So let's get into this takeoff. My flight home was much shorter, only taking a little over two hours, and I got a really nice meal as well. It was like a chicken salad, which was much better than the bacon and eggs I got on Virgin Australia. It also had a nice entertainment system, which was quite good and had a lot of recent movies and TV shows and a lot of new music as well. So overall, the Qantas flight was a lot better, and also the landing was a little bit smoother. guys now back in New Zealand I am really really tired and uh, yeah it's gonna be back but it was one hell of a day to fly to Sydney and back 
just for a, a lunch. But it was a really great lunch AMD put on. I really enjoyed it. I got to meet up with Jared, which was really good. And it was just all around a great time. So, this is ending. So, catch you guys next time.